with each baseball stadium having its own unique uh, layout, it is no uh, surprise that at some point balls will go be hit near either uh, the bench or near the the into the crowd. So let's look at the the rules then that uh, determine you know how far is is too far for fans or players to uh, to react whenever a ball is hit near them. So the first one is about when the ball is hit near uh, the, the the offensive team, and the the rule book only states the offensive team because I guess they would kind of assume that if a player on the defensive team is making a play near his own bench, for example, then his players will will uh, be accommodating and that they will move out of the way to allow him to make the catch. So the rule book then states about the offensive team that any member of the offensive team uh, shall vacate any space needed uh, by fielder attempting to, to field a batted or thrown ball. So this would be uh, a, maybe a foul ball that goes near the, the dugout, or uh, if if a, a ball is is overthrown first base and maybe goes near into the on deck circle or something like that, uh, then, then then the players need to to get out of the way. And if they they don't do that, and and this not only includes players but coaches and whoever else, maybe trainers who are in the area. Now, if they don't do this, then the, the, the penalty is that interference, if the players do not vacate the space, interference shall be called, and batter or runner who, who the play is being made on uh, shall be called out, and so so that makes sense that, that uh, you know if you you don't allow the defense to, to make the team or make the play, then the, your your teammate then would be uh, called out. So that's whenever there there is uh, interference by the players. What about uh, with the, the fans? Because quite a few times, balls will come uh, uh, within reach of the crowd. So, so there's a separate rule for this, and this states that when there is interference, when there's fan interference uh, with any thrown or batted ball, the, the ball is declared dead. Declared dead at the moment of interference. And, and rather than uh, rather than than simply stating that the 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 runner is out because you know. Uh, with this, the the offensive team obviously wants their they they have a reason to uh, maybe deter the the defensive team, whereas fans they they may not. So uh, so the the rule book says that the, the umpire shall then uh, he shall shall impose such a penalty as in his opinion nullifies the interference. So the umpire. To impose penalty that, in his opinion, so this is a, a obviously a judgment call he is making, will nullify the act of interference. And so, and and the, there is one uh, specific uh, example that the, the rule book says that if this occurs, then then. Uh, they give the specific ruling. So, so if 
of the fan uh, clearly uh, prevents a catch, uh, uh, we should say, uh, catch a fly ball. Fielder from catching a fly ball, then the batter shall be declared out. And so uh, the, 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 the batter is automatically, uh, or, or a runner, is automatically called out whenever it go, the, the ball may go near the bench and the, the offensive team interferes with the play, but then there's a little more leeway whenever we get into fan interference.